Hello folks, welcome to another great video. Today we're going to change the boat's winch on its trailer. Um, the trailer winch, and obviously you can see that this is the old one. It was a nightmare to get off, and it's absolutely cream crackered in every single way. But it did its job just to put the boat in the water, but I didn't like it. Not that I don't trust it or anything, so I used a bit of heat and burnt the, uh, the nut off. Well, I didn't burn the nut off, I expanded the nut take it off because it was such a stubborn piece of uh, jiggery pokery to do and now i've got a brand new one as well and i'll show you the nut brand spanking new exactly the same a bit more better though more, a bit more heavy duty as well and you can get them pretty cheap so it's a job well worth doing i mean look at that that's tired it's the original uh, boat winch so this will last forever you don't need to paint it or anything it's uh galvanized and speaking of nuts and bolts i'll come over here quickly this is the bolt that i had to heat up there and i thought oh my god it didn't come with an extra set of bolts and i needed to uh, get another trailer uh, bolt winch bolt so that's the one i heated up and you can see it was worse than this i swear it was rusty and it was manky and luckily enough i was searching high and low and I've got that, and it's exactly the same bolt as well. Would you add them in Eve it in? Right, never throw your bolts away. Keep them in jars. Obviously, look, you can see it's a bit like a pick and mix. I've been sorting it all out there like that. That's where the winch came in in that box there. Sorting them all out. So hold on, we're going back over. So I always have nuts and bolts and screws and odds and bits everywhere. So that's the job now, and we're going to go and uh, go and fit it. So what we've got to do to fit it, I've got to take that bolt off, like so, like this, it's easy as this, dead easy. And you push that fring, this bolt through, like that. And then you just put the bolt back on to the fixing plate and the other bolt, and it's as easy as that. Really is that simple. But well, I'd better not lose this bolt, because if I lose this bolt, I'm going to be pretty scuppered, because getting one... Is hard work. I mean, I probably could find one. Oh, I'd have to go and get one from somewhere. But you'd think they're supplying, but oh, each trail is different, I guess. Right then, better get on with it. So there you go, folks. Easy. Nice and done. Let's have a proper look. There you go. And the bolts are in place. If you can see under there. There you are. Make sure that they're really tight. Don't tighten that one too much. Tighten that one a lot. There you are. All the tools you need. Why not try it yourself? And don't forget, if the bolts are giving you a ache, heat them up. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll probably snap off with this screwdriver. Will really? it? Probably. So there you go, there's a new roller, fitted, bolted on, that's galvanised, shouldn't rust for a long time, works perfectly, I'm just going to put some grease on that, for it to spin round, uh, and uh, at the same time, let's get over here, I've even replaced the jockey wheel, look at that, why not? All I've got to do now is put the mud guards on, job done, grease everything up, and that's it. There you go. 
some air boats in the water. Why not uh, get it all tarted up, many get it all serviceable? Because they've just got mud guards to do, and that's it. So you can try it yourself.